Nach der deutschen Schule bin ich zur Universität von Pretoria gegangen und habe dort Medizin studiert. Und ich bin gerade Ärztin bei Tambo Memorial Hospital. I studied at WITS. I did um, Economics, Computer Science and Applied Maths. I studied Biodevelopment and Environmental Sciences. And now I'm doing honors in Sustainable Development. I completed my undergraduate degree in uh, Industrial Engineering at the University of Pretoria. And then I started working as a test manager and software engineer at the BMW Group in South Africa. Went to Cambridge and uh, I did a master's in engineering for sustainability. I did a master's of science in psychology and I majored in work in organizational psychology. Graduated last year, September. I got admitted as an attorney and now I'm working as, a, as an associate in the general finance team at Bowman's. Currently, I work for IT at BMW. I started working at a media intelligence company called Meltwater. So, started working in the analytics department as a media analyst. Finished the medical degree and I'm now in my second year of internship at Baragwana Hospital. I learned that if I set my mind to something, then I can achieve things that I didn't really think I could. Taking any opportunity and really just running with it and giving your best shot. Gave me the confidence that I needed to to kind of, you know, navigate through, you know, spaces that I probably wouldn't have had the confidence to navigate in. Critical thinking and not being afraid to question the status quo. The DHJ really did teach me to think outside the box and to come up with our own solutions. In a world where information is information and opinions are so like readily available and so easily accessible. Um, I think it's so important to be able to think for yourself. The DSJ gave us a lot of opportunities to really challenge ourselves and that really allowed me the possibility to grow and to become better than who I was yesterday. The way we think about approaching a problem just seemed better and sort of, I understand boss a lot, that sort of we'd get a problem and everyone would just like dive in, start working and they'd be like, oh wait, I don't know what I'm doing. And us from the German school, we'd kind of get the problem, we'd sit back and go, okay, cool, let me get a pic the full picture, you know, what am I trying to do, what do I know, what don't I know, cool, how do I tackle this problem? I learned to be myself, also to work by myself, so to be accountable for what I did. My teachers were always very supportive and they even helped me with application process, helped me fine tune things I needed. The school taught me about work ethic and uh, the quality of education I received there really helped me during my degree. So this year opened doors internationally for me that I'm not sure would have uh, I'm not sure if it would have been the same thing if I had been at other schools. It provided me as a gateway to Europe, so to say. And second of all I studied with so many different people um, of so many different cultures and ethnicities and that really got me interested in pursuing a career in psychology because South Africa is so diverse and the DSJ I feel really celebrated um, all our different cultures. I can definitely say that, then also bei der deutschen Schule lernt man Deutsch, also ich kann jetzt Deutsch reden und ich arbeite auch für eine deutsche Firma, also das ist schon ziemlich krass. And besides that, uh, the people, like a lot of people know the German school and the reputation of the German school, of the people that they produce. And it is, believe it or not, one of the most important things as well when you do get out into a working or a professional environment. The school that you do come from does have a connotation to what sometimes people do expect of you. And I've heard and only seen nothing but great things about people who have come from our school. German has helped me in so many ways, um, more so than just communicating with people. I have the opportunity to live in Germany or to work in Germany or to work in Austria, to work in Switzerland, to work in Namibia. It would be Schule Olympiade, so it gets hosted every two years and I was in I think three or four of them and it was just such a great time. Pretty much every bazaar. It was just always so special and quite sad that we couldn't have it this year. There are far too many, of course, and some I don't think I'll be able be allowed to say. <laughs> but uh, I think, of course, the Schul Bazaar. Being in the Aula, the Aula is one of my favorite places. For me, the favorite memories actually really come down to the small things. So um, whether it's German sweets in the tuck shop or the friendliness of the staff, just 
the small interactions that you have are something that like always just remains with you. The 125 year celebration. That was a lot of fun and very memorable for me. I feel there are a lot of good memories and when you're at school everybody tells you to cherish the time because once you're out of school you're going to miss it. Um, and I didn't believe anyone but I really do miss school. The thing I'm most grateful for for the school is the community and kind of community that exists even once you leave. I actually have so many good memories. I mean, pretty much all of my closest friends are still my school friends. People who were my friends in school, I still speak to them to this very day, which I know a lot of people can't say from their schools. Everyone at some point needs help in their life. Um, and to not ask for help when you know that you need it is the worst thing you can do for yourself. Asking for help is definitely something that's important. And especially to those that um, aren't German native speakers, I think, yeah, just press on learning the language because um, although learning another language is tough, uh, like my mother always said, Sprachen müssen gepflegt werden. So in, in English, it means you need to nurture and practice your languages. Your performance today is literally going to shape the kind of adult and the kind of professional that you're going to be tomorrow. If you put in their work, you will reap the rewards. Sometimes it may seem difficult and sometimes you feel like the teachers are all like up against you or they're just pushing you extra hard, but that's because they know what you can do. If you are really studying at the DSJ, you are on the right track. Um, really, if you put the work into it, you can become anyone who you want to be.